the wild, wild west. Yeah, Obviously, we're that. ready, dude. The press record. I, mother. I, no matter what we're doing. You press record, freaking. we go. You're right. I'm sorry. We're on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. <laughs> welcome to the Patreon. Hopefully, none of you idiots actually joined from that last YouTube. You I bet they fools. did. They welcome did. to our trap. <laughs> you we fools. used all the good material on the regular episode. <laughs> <laughs> You've fallen right into our trap. It's the oldest trap in the book. It truly is, dude. Um, truly is. How hard is it to cancel a membership? Dude. How hard is it to cancel a membership? I'll never do it. I to have, what? I have like a ne- I have a Netflix that I never. Dude, use. I had a. I got a Planet Fitness when I moved here. Yeah. I walk past it every day. <laughs> um, the, the shame of going into a Planet Fitness <laughs> as a fat guy <laughs> is devastating. What do you think it is? You just, why? You just, why is it a shame for PFit versus anywhere else? The shame for well, Planet Fitness is like at two, three years ago. I was like, I'm gonna work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go in there, you, you go. I, I, I gotta cancel it. It is a good business model, though. It's, it's like such a cancelable gym membership. It's, it's like a gym membership. Yeah, it's almost like a dollar Patreon. On. True. Yeah, it is the dollar Patreon yeah. member. <laughs> Ten bucks a month. I know you can bring ten friends if you want. Yeah, fuck none it. of you are going to come. You dumb none of you idiots. fat idiots are going to come work out. <laughs> for ten bucks a month, you can bring your whole family for the rest of your lives. Oh, All you man, have to do especially is now canceling like January eighteenth. They'd be like, yeah, dude, okay, but you didn't make three weeks. <sighs> yeah, everything is more crowded fitness wise. This is the this is like the height of it. Yeah, people just drop off. I've been fucking very much slacking on my physical fitness regimen. It was a holiday season, dude. Yeah, I, but really, I was getting sick. That's kept fucking me up. I was I get a cold every every four days. There's a fucking Constantly. virus in my house. My woman is sick, nonstop, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna put her down. They are breeding grounds for disease. They really are. I have three. I'm, I'm outnumbered, bro. I got oh, girls you are, dad. Just, um, girl dad. All, all sick women all winter. You have just, three sick fucking girl bosses. Just sick, just sick women all winter. Just ah, fucking like, will you guys fucking keep to yourselves, man? I'm trying to perfect my body, dude. Take podcasting to another level. And I'm get, I can't sleep all night. You guys are fucking throwing up and hacking boogers everywhere. Ugh, Getting me sick disgusting i women. was getting covid sneezes just rained we had, like, let our <laughs> yeah. youngest baby sleep between us because she was they can't blow their noses yeah it's it, which is like dude once someone learns how to blow their nose you're like thank fucking god because you got to get a tube and you put it in their nose and you take your mouth and go oh you gotta suck what them the out. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> there's a filter there's a filter that stops the boogers but yeah you have to <laughs> dude you have to take the baby squirt salt water up their nose so they go oh <laughs> And you turn them on their side real quick. So they, they knock the water out and it oh. loosens up their mucus. And you get this. It's called a nose frita. Or you do like the little, you know that little ball thing that like looks like a turkey baster kind of? Yes. Those things are all right. But if you use those too much, it inflames the nasal passage. And then you can create, you know, a, a bigger problem than you started out with. But you get the nose frita and you just go. And you, si- and you see, I'm, my wife's usually doing the siphoning and I'm holding her. You have to hold her arms like you're kicking someone's ass. So I'm like holding the baby's <laughs> arms down. It's like two in the morning. Give dude. us those boogers. <laughs> yeah. Holding the arms down. The baby's fully thinking you're, they, they think yeah, you're just you're killing, killing it. it. Yeah. She's like, my wife's holding her head straight, just going, and I'm watching the book. And I'm like, I do this thing too, where if someone's doing something, I'll like almost mouth along. So I'm going like, I see myself doing it because like when they when I see the boogers, it's a kind of a relief. You see the boogers start entering like the blue plastic tube, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The worst, yeah. Dude, the worst is doing yeah. it acting. Oh, dude. when you know someone else is lying, you're like. <laughs> 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 you ever see the Fresh Prince of Bel Air thing they had on that? No, do they do? Oh, it? dude, I think Will Smith does it, does it big time and a lot in a couple. Really? Of, he's about uh, yeah. sucking boogers out of a nose. Is- it's but yeah, but like it is great. That's preventing you from sleep. It's like two milliliters of boogers are like keeping you up all night, and yeah. then you get them out of their nose, and then they go. they freak out, then they go, <laughs> and you see them take air in their nose, and they just go, <sighs> they pass out. And you're like, but it's gross. It's gross. Um, my wife likes to do it. Thank God. She likes to parenthood seems gay. Yeah. It, there's parts of it, but it is, it is so fun. Cause it's like, literally you are sleeping and then like, you like kind of wake up and you see this little nugget in between yeah. you and it's just with like with her little fucking baby hair and you just smile and go back to bed. It's really ah, nice. It's so very nice. It's so sweet. You hear the that's little, like nice. the baby snore. Yeah, exactly. You hear that little breath next to you and you're like, yeah. <sighs> but sometimes you think about them like dying too. Like when they're. Well, they were sick like that. You're like, dude, are they going to like suffocate on their boogers? Because they're, dude, they don't know how to do anything. 
So I was like, they could lay face down and get trapped on their boogers and then like try to move and just fail at all three things. Yeah. And you're just going, checking the monitor. You're like, you, you see like, well, like the light changes on their back. That's how you see if they're breathing. So I'll be like, are you fucking breathing? And I'm like, yeah, it looks like it. Put it down. You're like, I fucking hope I'm right about this. I'm going yeah. to bed, you know, but yeah. If things go wrong, you got Casey Anthony out. You got to just not mention it for 30 days. Yeah. Blame my and dad. Just go out. Go party. Blame my dad. My dad grabbed my Hit phone. the bar. Be like, yeah. no more responsibilities. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the boss of me now. Yeah, dude. That's such a wild reaction to school's out for summer for your dead kid. <laughs> School. <laughs> that's full of fucking. Summer. It's going to be a wild summer, dude. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty terrifying stuff. Was it just her? I guess it was just her. Who did it? No, I'm saying there wasn't. The bro wasn't around. No. The father. No. Just K C A. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty damning. That was they use that in court. Like, look how much fun she's having. It's like Yeah. Yeah, that's And then people, you know, it is kind of true. You never know how people are gonna react, but not calling the cops and then going out partying while your three year old's missing. Mm, that's pretty fucking weird. It seems like it should have been a guilty case. Yeah. But I'm not sure. What's crazy because like I didn't look into the trial itself. I just yeah. remember her accusing her father of being a molestor. A molestor. My father molested. No me molesta. I would have called the cops from a ah, kid. No me molesta. My father molested me. I mean, it's like, that is the ultimate, that's the nuclear option for like a, just an absolutely deranged woman just to be like, oh, what, all that stuff I've done wrong? Do you know this guy's a molester? And everyone's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. what? Yeah. Let's go get him then. You've been a victim this whole time? <laughs> yeah. Your negative behavior? Dude, that's out the window because you were a victim. Yeah, I don't know if you know this lady, that's how most negative behavior works. Yeah, typically you were a victim. True. That anyway, well, every once in a while I get deep on here. That's the thing. That was pretty deep. Patreon listeners, this you're our inner circle, dude. You can hear when I'm like, dude, I goofed out the glasses on. I goof on the first half. This half I get serious. Very dude. serious. It's Oxford. This is Oxford. This is the Oxford debate. Did Oxford ask dude, you to speak? Dude, I was supposed to do the Oxford debate. COVID stopped you? COVID ruined it. What, are they going to fire him back up? I mean, they're doing them, but I think uh, me being the spokesman for cancel culture is kind of past. Yeah. Who do they have now? Kanye West? Andrew Tate. Kanye. Ooh, uh, Tate's in jail. Kanye would be great. Kanye would be so funny at arguing. But yeah, Tate's 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 probably going to jail for real. Like he for might be going child or not child, uh, for sex trafficking, sex trafficking, and rape. Yeah, they have they have like audio recordings of him being like, "You'd block one up, rape you." Which again, they could just that sounds like dirty talk. It does, dude. But it, it's like he's already in there for sex trafficking. The lady's going. I mean, do you want that guy was dealing exclusive in Casey, Casey Anthony's? Yeah, he was the boss of like twelve Casey Anthony's. Yeah, I've thinking seen it those would all podcasts. go well. Bro. Unbelievable podcast. I haven't really watched them, <laughs> but like was, having like 12 women that were I, I, whores, yeah. maybe like professionally. Yeah. yeah. And him being like, see, how many men have you slept with? And then be like, I'm like, 85 men. He's like, that's disgusting. Nobody wants to fuck you ever. Yeah. It's like, that's a mean podcast. Yeah, man. He was, he was playing with fire. Him and his brother, Tristan, dude. His brother, Tristan. I'm more of a Tristan Tate guy. You're more of a Tristan Tate. Yeah. He's, I think he's unscathed through all of this. Him and Tristan would do podcasts where they would talk about like how they'll never go to jail. It's the funniest shit in the world. They would go on there and just be like, we got to stack some money this high. You can never go to prison. I tell my lawyer, shut the fuck up. Get me out of dude. They're just screaming at a camera for like two hours. They are very funny. I tell them, it is very funny. Dude. Is it on purpose? I don't think it is intentionally as I funny. I don't think so. That rap video really sunk it for me. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, this guy's not funny at all. Mr. Plenty? Uh, yeah. You got beef with Mr. Plenty? I don't have beef. Dude, I think there I was like a, beef, there's dude. a girl, I should say this, there's a girl who claims who was in the video who claims she was like 14 at the time, but again, that could be that could be bull snicket. Yeah. But lying gal. <laughs> but yeah, I think he's in trouble, man. That's monkey business. It's all his words being like I tricked them financially. I lied to them financially. I tax I evaded my taxes and told them oh, yeah. which is fraud around sex work, which technically classifies sex trafficking. Yes. Technically. So uh, did it's we like, cover this? Because I think that's how girls do porn went down. I think so. Yeah, we must have actually. <sighs> yeah. <it's how. laughs> I'm going to get an airbrush girls do porn RIP shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just wear it. Tall T at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Speaking of, uh, well, kind of the behavior of girls, I was uh, listening to an audiobook called 
dark what the hell no black cloud what the, what, i forget what it was called it's not black flags black flags is the isis one yeah this one's called black cloud maybe i don't know black wave it's all about um how like the tension between saudi arabia and iran came to be mm. they're just basically talking about the fall of the middle east dude yeah they just got fucking cr- yeah. crushed they got crushed dude. yeah england and france yes dude they destroyed said, them they said no more and we'll make the borders here i always forget what that fucking treaty is called uh, uh, it's like t- two words it's two know. names i know what you're talking about they it were, was after the ottoman empire yeah they were talking about they started in 1979 with the uh OPEC? Re- re- well, with the revolution of iran or the oh, okay. revolution there were because they were they were coming out of the vietnam war that was a total failure there was something else that happened i forget but they basically the east was watching the middle east was like yo i think america sucks and we can do whatever the fuck we want like like we, they saw the vietnamese kind of like hold off the americans so you had all these pissed off people in the middle east go out there kings and rulers and be like yo fuck these guys yeah and on top they were getting kind of inundated with like communism and shit so i didn't know they had like any sort of foothold over there the communistas over in the oh middle yeah, east. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was bros big time but yeah, it was it was pretty sick. And then they came out of 1948. When like, did OPEC start? I don't know. Was it the treaty, treaty of Severus? No, there's a name for the the actual making of the border. In the middle. Oh, they just drew it all up. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Damn, dude. So they were just off. like mountain range there. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, that's the the middle. East, yeah, they had, there was no regard for who was Sunni, who was Shiite, what clan they were in. Yeah, yeah, they just sin a pack. Some, fuck, damn! They talk about that a lot too. Sykes Picot, Sykes Picot, and they just fucking were just like, Nyah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn! And then they were like, oh, here's Israel. Yeah, that that was what was that? 1948, I think. Woo. 1968 was. Oh, they started it in 1968. Yeah, that's when it like the ideas for it started. And then and after World War II, they started. That was they were talking about that in the book. How like the dudes in Palestine were chilling, and all of a sudden it was just like. Just waves of like ten thousand Jewish immigrants from Europe, and they were just like, and they were like, dude, I think England was like, nah, dude, here's the deal, this is your half, the city, that's their half, yeah, you're good, and they were like, no, dude, we're not doing half, fuck that, we're not doing half. And they're like, all right, and they came out with weapons, they're like, oh shit, Israel has fucking state of the art weapons from America, Britain, and all this stuff, and they just fucked them up. And they had to go to all the other countries and just be like, like, where are you guys coming from? And be like, you won't believe this, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're getting fucked up, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're getting destroyed. Yeah. Like, like by who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they dude, there's been so many times where they all try to team up and get Israel and they just get fucking destroyed, dude. dude. It's insane. I think when Israel Israel like took the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt mm-hmm. and then like we're like, nah, you can have it back, baby. Just so you know, we can take it whenever we want. Keep it. Oh, don't fuck with us. Anymore. Yeah, leave us the fuck alone. Israel's a bulldog down there. Dude. I guess that was their only real. I guess Egypt was like kind of enough of a military Egypt's power a beast, to worry about. Yeah, but not even close. They got. Yeah, well, they they have, everybody got destroyed. Yeah, they have America and Britain. They What's the whole, Seven just, Days War? What's that? That's shit? when I think they first took. Yeah. When they were like the Palestinians were like no, I think that was one in like 1948 or whatever. Fresh out of like WD two. Yeah, yeah, I think it was in the 50s. Yeah, the, like, or, yeah. Six day war, yeah. Okay, so that's was that was that when Egypt got got theirs off by twenty years. Middle Eastern history is very confusing. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Is Israel gave them absolute what for, dude? Well, it's weird. Jordan was always kind of a. I thought Jordan was always somewhat of like a Western ally. So I don't know. I didn't, now they are. Now they're yeah, the I guess so. Yeah, but it all it all changes over taste, and over again. Taste the J power. Different dictators. They did taste the J, dude. Yeah, dude. They're like in six days. How many casualties? <laughs> it's crazy. I think it's gonna be a lot to a little. Yeah, it's a lot to a little. Uh, Israel had uh, less than a thousand. Egypt, fifteen thousand. Jordan, less than a thousand. See Jordan. Syria, twenty five hundred killed. A lot Egypt of got a lot up. of wounded on top of that too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. Although it seems like those Middle Eastern numbers are a little high. Yeah. yeah. You know. 
I think I think I think Egypt's lying about how many of their guys died. You think they got down the? It probably got down. To, they probably got into Egypt. Saw the pyramids. They're like, you motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. dude. Stacked all these goddamn blocks of those fucking aliens. Yeah, telling us where was, we go. We had fucking aliens yelling at us. <laughs> you guys yelling at us. Now it's our turn. It's our turn to be the boss. Dude. Now you guys are gonna pile stuff up. True, dude. Because <laughs> we didn't like piling stuff. Yeah, dude. The. Uh, they were just talking about how these guys came out of that. It's a pretty cool book, though. What, what's it called? Uh, the Black, Black Wave. Wave. It's a, yeah, I haven't got. I want to get more and more into it, but they were uh, basically setting up for like when you go to the Middle East and you're like everyone there is just collectively being like, "What the fuck happened, dude? Yeah. Why does it suck so bad here?" It's so hard to. There's there's a couple places I've always I've always tried to get into Middle Eastern history. It's very mm-hmm. difficult. Yeah, Indian history. I took a class on it in college. Impossible. Indian history. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Impossible. It's pretty crazy. Every name. I can't say that's the problem with the Middle couldn't East. Couldn't pronounce one name. No, dude. I was it's, like, I'll never remember this. That the problem with that book is they keep being like, uh, you and know. that's not a criticism of their culture. No, it's just, dude. It's that's it's me being dumb. I'm like, wait, is that a city or a guy? Yeah. Every time, I'm like, wait a second. What are we talking about? A place or a person? I can't yep. tell. It's no like, clue. Imam Sada. Like, I always wanted to do Spanish Spanish Civil War, impossible. Russian Revolution, impossible. Yeah. All these things are just because there's so many different. It's not like American Civil War, very easy. Yeah. North versus South. Yeah. Good guys, retards. Exactly. <laughs> Slave owners, awesome heroes, the North. <laughs> God, how embarrassed would you be to be from the South after that? It sucks. They try so hard that they'd be like, no, it was actually a war of Northern aggression. It was Abraham Lincoln was a tyrant. You guys, it's like, yeah, bro, bro, you guys were doing something awesome awful yeah and we came down and gave you what for we yeah. said stop yeah you gotta you gotta help you guys were holding the country back from becoming what it is now we had to literally go and no, kill like the north was jealous over. about how much money we were making it's like dude shut the fuck up all right dude no one cares about you guys right. i guess if we weren't as if we weren't exporting all the textiles over to europe making fucking money hand over fist dude we're all on the team dude yeah we're not gonna try to ruin the south's economy yeah, exactly on, man Try to help them. You help you guys, but guys, we're going to the future, and they're like, "Me no one." Yeah. No, they're like, I'm, uh, "Kanye, please don't do it. Please stop making us say that some Nazis it. were I good." Obviously, it. yes, there's <laughs> yes, yes. The answer is yes. Some yeah, of them were great, probably dude. fucking cool. <laughs> the, Valkyrie, dude, that guy was cool. <laughs> Tom Cruise in the movie Valkyrie, he was awesome. Uh, yeah, dude, M. Bison from Street Fighter rules. So <laughs> don't make me say it out loud. I hate to spill the beans, but I got a text. That said, yo, it's yay. And Kanye contacted me that day. That day he was that day, on his media tour. That night, yes. And he Damn. wanted to work on something. On his media me. daily storm. And unfortunately, I had to decline. What? Yeah. Yeah. He should be here eating birthday cake. You want know, the views? We could do that. But I do feel like the people that are yeah. latching onto him are taking advantage of whatever's going on. Yeah. And that, that looks fucking lame. Yeah, it's sinister. Because Ye is the best. Well, that's yeah. that kind of sucks because I want to give my views on Israel right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> See, I already feel weird about talking about it. It Dang is it. funny. It's a funny thing to have him I mean, it you. was crazy. It gave me, like, my face got hot. <laughs> I was in an Uber. I was talking to Matt, and I was like, dude, Ye just texted me. <laughs> that's crazy. Did you show that to the guy Ye. next to you? I was in the back of an Uber, just like... <sighs> <laughs> They're like he wants to talk right now. It's like I'm I'm in an airport. I can't. <laughs> I'm just trying to trying to buy time. I was like, holy fuck, holy fuck. Because I knew whatever he said, I was gonna say yes. I, I fucking love Kanye West. <laughs> I love his music. <laughs> You're doing the right. I love his music. You're doing so the right much. thing. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, it was huge hard. Kanye West fan. Can't stand his music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not into just... that fucking crap. Pull your pants up. I oh, like man. We get it. You're views. the best at everything. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I feel uncomfortable. Alex, with that. although I will say, no, he it's Alex crazy. Jones it needs was to be pointed so out that Kanye funny. texted you, <laughs> dude. It <laughs> fucked me up. Him on jo- Jones was no one better to interview him than Alex Jones. Yeah. So why am I saying the Nazis are cool? I don't like them. They kind of like took yeah. like, attack yeah. people. Yeah. I'm not you don't that. like Nazis, so I like Hitler. <laughs> yeah, dude, the one that <laughs> cut, like he's like, we're having fun here. We're just fucking around. Everybody's crazy here. All right, we're gonna head to break. And then just Kanye, like, while the camera's panning past the desk, he's like, I like Hitler. He must have been like, God damn it! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude. <laughs> no, he was like, Yeah, we're going mega viral right now. Yeah, I think it's, lit. Want me to it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. 
<laughs> he kept saying it's lit. Have you thought about texting him about other stuff? No, like I don't want to or... bother him. Yeah. And I don't. Uh, yeah. Of course, there's that fucking fame hungry party that's like, yes, do it. Yeah. Yeah. This like, would be doing no. it big. And you're then noble. don't. And hey, then do noble. not do that. And then do. Yeah. You're noble. I was like, yeah, dude, fucking talk to him right now. And you're like, I was like everybody. Yeah. That was every single person's reaction yeah. was like, do it. I also had like, no bro, idea. We would lose everything. I had no idea what his hijinks were that day. I was like, yeah, dude, you help, definitely hit that him. Was, that was the problem. And I like, said, did you going, see what he said today? And I looked it up and went, Ooh, he had too yeah, much soda. Uh, he, he had might a lot have, of soda. Yeah. He might he had, have, He dude. had surge at the birthday party. <laughs> 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 he might have had jolt. <laughs> he had a couple jolts. <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> easy on the Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or he was just super sleepy. He might have been just super sleepy. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. I mean, dude, it's it's definitely one of the most interesting things ever happened also that day was we were on rogan we did like 10 minutes on how great kanye is yeah and we get done with the episode that doesn't come out until today or tomorrow Uh-oh. yeah it's literally <laughs> rogan like Rut-row. look at this guy he's a genius oh dude <laughs> put up this video <laughs> of him the amazon concert it's the best thing i've ever seen <laughs> and then we get done i'm you know anxiety from doing that podcast and the next day i'm on the plane like God, oh, what have I done? Yeah, I mean, and then you get a text from him, and it's like, damn, spooky stuff. Very scary time. That is spooky stuff. Yeah, it fucked me up. And I was on mushrooms on Rogan, so I was on the mushroom hangover the next day. It was a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot to take <laughs> yeah, in. It was a lot, dude. I'm sweating in my robe. I'm trying to make plans in my robe. Dude, my balls are dropped. Dripping on the floor. I'm having a panic attack in an Uber. I was leaving JFK. Just like, <laughs> man, I got to go. I got to talk to you later, dude. You're not going to believe what's going on. I'll see you later. I was saying to Shane, the right how funny is it that Kanye in his head is like, well, I'll just go on Gillian Keeves. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I'll just go on <laughs> Matt and Jake. Whatever. I mean, he is right that. We do need to preach love and forgiveness. It's he just, is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the, ta- the sands of time, maybe you got to deal with him in like a 500 year span. Yes. But it's like I right think, though, now. You just got to go. All right, Hitler, back of the line for love and forgiveness. We'll take yeah, care exactly. of everybody yeah, else Hitler's first. Pretty yeah, bad. yeah. Get all yeah. the way to the back for sure. He jumped the line. But it's, you know, again, 90% of people are going, what did he do? It's fucking weird. Well, did you like, see who's, who's really hot blooded? His, his, I've seen yeah. so many comedians now who are like, eh, it's like, well, dude, anti-Semitism has no place. It's like, oh, come on, this isn't real stuff. Yeah. Maybe you could do like this supervised is... vo- podcasting like they do supervised visitation just to see if you can handle like 15 minutes of time <laughs> and a half hour. <laughs> what do you an mean? Hour. With like, yay? Yeah, just have like a, a word of the state come with you just to see if you can keep it together for like 15. <laughs> dude, if I, I would join immediately. <laughs> Immediately, he'd be like, "This is how I feel." I'd be like, "You're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, dude. It's fucking unbelievable. They're fucking killing us, dude." <laughs> Did you see his uh, subreddit got turned into like a Holocaust awareness thing? <sighs> really? <laughs> his subreddit got yeah turned into yeah like all a... of his yeah the the headlines are like Kanye's fans turn his subreddit into like a Holocaust awareness page. <laughs> That's, that is one thing people seem to be a little unaware of. Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? There's like stream clips of like. I think they just stuff. post like numbers and stuff and go, this is real. For yeah. sure. They ran it's ads like, for okay, Holocaust Co. <laughs> a little fucked up if you ask me. They what? Ran ads for Holocaust Co. Hey. <laughs> Hey, birthday boy. <laughs> you got too much soda. I got kind of me. He's going to be on here one way or another. Yeah. You know, I, I no, like, can you hand me another White Claw? I feel like the whole thing just launched like a two-week rum springer on like Jewish jokes on podcasts, and it's like now I'm all out. Yeah. I'm done. I'm like, I'm yeah. out. Yeah, it makes... Yeah. I'm out. I've had it's... Yeah, I was already running pretty hot. Yeah, it's like, all right, that was cool. <laughs> Chill out for another, you know, hopefully 30 years or so. Yeah, does anybody else? Would anybody else like a white claw? Yeah, I'd, I'll, I'll grab a so. one. Thank you. We yeah, got man. ten o'clock show. True, Yay. that'll be fun. Yeah, dude. Yay, I, yay. Yeah, my, that's my my whole concern is not even concern, but it's like, dude, if you were to really you, pull bro. a bunch of people and hook them up to like blood pressure tests and be like, "Yo, how pissed are you about this?" I think ninety percent of people would be like, "Yeah, it's fucking weird." I've run into a couple that were actually upset. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, the one lady I know is from Poland. Okay. And her, she's old, and her For parents sure. were in. They were Jewish in Poland. Yeah. Okay. During the Holocaust, checks out. Okay. So yeah. You know, <laughs> All right. Checks out. She's Not like, thrilled. you can't. You got to shut the fuck up about it. Don't joke about it. Yeah. 
checks out. You know, she's got. I'd be pissed. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. But I don't know. This whole thing's gay, and I feel stinks. stupid. Yeah, it's. I feel gay for bringing it up. No, that that's the only. That's what will get you when someone is actually like. That's the only time I really feel anything when I know somebody who's actually like a physical being is like. No, it actually. Here's why. And I go. I feel bad now. Yeah. Right, but, well, I won't laugh about it when you're around. Most of it's. Yeah. But most of it's the realm of abstraction where you're just kind of like, dude. Yeah. We're having a laugh. We're having a laugh. We're having a goof. There's the most famous person in the world denying the Holocaust right now on a meta level. It's funny. <laughs> on a meta level because it's Matt, so ridiculous. Yeah, take yourself out of the equation. It's funny. When he was like, if you were like, if you went back in time and he was like, George Bush doesn't care about black people, and you got to sit there in your time machine and go, <laughs> oh, you guys just wait what happens. Yeah. Wait till the lid pops off of this guy. <laughs> That's a funny thing to think about. It is very funny. When you just get out of the fourth dimension, this whole stuff gets kind of funny. True. When you can suspend Dude. time, it's like, eh, it's kind of all kind of yeah, funny. Yeah, you suspend time. It's all kind of funny if you can spend time. <laughs> you go to Dr. Strange. <laughs> You're like a Holocaust joke. There's an alternate. Th- <laughs> <laughs> or funny. <laughs> There's an alternate timeline where you like, the only thing that's different. Like, oh, Chuck, close that, oh, close that. That's ooh, terrible. <laughs> oh, close that one. Don't do that one. Well, how did I move my forearms on that yeah, one? Yeah, his ice cream cake's sweating, dude. You gotta, get <laughs> you gotta eat the fucking cake. I spent everything on this thing. <laughs> but no, I hope ever. You're not gonna have a slice of cake. I'm definitely gonna eat it. Eat the fucking cake. I just wanna hear dude. the rest of your Kanye story. No, man. that was it. I don't yeah. wanna delve into any more because I feel like right. I'm already taking advantage of. That's what yeah. he gets for texting you. That's what I mean. I hate that. Although Fucking all the guy does is screenshot conversations and texts with true. other people. But then again, he also, I could be having a thing. He he's, might be having a bit of a mental breakdown. He could. Yeah, he, is. he could be. Or yeah. he's a genius that's trying to show everybody that you can be a martyr and lose everything publicly. Well, I also... One they, of those things. They, they I think he could have just gave it all away. I think he's probably... 200,000 martyrs. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. I think this guy's fucking happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I don't want to take advantage of No, I was more so on the like, oh, maybe he's next level. And I've been watching it going, yeah. You know, and I wish I just wish. Yeah, it Musically, know. absolutely next level. That fucking, yeah. again, that fucking Amazon concerts makes me happy. Yeah, it was also, also when he came out at the time to be like, I love Trump. That was a taboo. He was breaking the taboo. Yeah. And it was like, and all he right, liked cool. It. He got a taste of it. He, he got, got a taste mm, of breaking mm, taboos. Yum. He goes, Taboos, huh? I'm going to the Ooh. ultimate one. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to the What's shame? number one? What if the black Israelites texted you on the plane? Would you invite them on? Onto the podcast? Yeah. Or like, so yo, we were just backed boys by a line on. of black guys with swords. <laughs> that would be fucking <laughs> sick. That would be a little worrisome, the swords. But yes, if they were defending our honor, yes. It'd be like Banner Lord. I saw him. I, I would in... recruit them. I'd say, you guys, <laughs> yeah. you will join my squad. You'll join my squad. Masters. And we're actually going to go after the yeah, other black they Israelites. <laughs> they will, the black Israelites will hit you with the thing that hurts you the most as you walk by, just going to work, minding your business. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They'll get you. Especially I saw me when you already have piggish features. <laughs> God, <laughs> they hate swine. They're like an army. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're an army of Steve Hostetters. They're walking down the street. <laughs> What did you say? They're an army of Steve Hostetters. <laughs> they really are. Yeah. They destroy every heckler that walks by, dude. I feel like nobody bothers those guys, though. You gotta, yeah, if no you one bothers them. Every once in a while, a white woman it. falls into their web. There's <laughs> 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 the dumb fly white woman. It's like, you want to do that? You're ass? actually ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, white bitch. Yeah, and they just <laughs> get I down on the ground. I always, <laughs> try to say, I always try to say hi to them, man. And they always act like I don't exist. I'm always like, what's up, boys? And they're always just kind of like, yeah. fuck, get the fuck that on. That fucks their whole shit up. I can't be like, what's up, you're dude? going out there, you're like, I'm trying you're to bother white people. And a white guy walks by like, yo. <laughs> a, wh- a white they're guy like, with your energy is definitely their kryptonite. I saw, I saw, true. I saw them in D.C. swinging. They were swinging like the church fume stuff and the uh, frankincense or whatever. Yeah. Mm. They and were I pretty nice. To, by and went, they were pretty was, nice to Tim in uh, Indianapolis. Yeah. Really? yeah. Dude, I, are you serious? Those guys didn't give me the time of day. I know. I was there like, I think like a month before Bro, you. I cruised by on an electric scooter and they were just like, Okay. Like nothing. They gave him a hang loose. Yeah, for real. I hit him with. I basically hit him with a oh boys, and they're just like I, maybe a smoke break or something. But I couldn't get anything out of them. What do you think they would do if you dressed like a stormtrooper and stood next to them and started yelling at people with them? <laughs> like Star Wars or real? Yeah. Star Wars yeah, right or, Star Wars. or Poland one? Yeah, really. That would be kind. Of, what would they do if you rolled up? Dude, that was another thing. Kanye I mean, they're getting doing. orders from the top, dude. dude it was Kanye, cool. Kanye, <laughs> Kanye talking about fucking uh, the Nazis' uniforms on a fashion level. That was killing me, dude. What was it, Hugo think, Boss? Hugo or, Boss. Yeah, Hugo Boss. He's like, I mean, as a design, Alex Jones. Like, I mean, you're a designer. You know, you're talking about design. He's like, I love the Nazis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude. I saw a funny tweet, though. It was, it was on Black Twitter. Somebody was like, for real, though, this fit does go hard as fuck. And it was like Hitler wearing a cape walking, <laughs> walking down these steps. <laughs> it was like, for real, the fit is fucking sick. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, maybe I have too much faith in humanity, dude. I don't, I, I've said it before. I don't think we're in danger of another, another yeah. age. Did they have Nazi word? swimsuits? Probably, to be fair. Speed yeah, they do a lot of weird shit with that stuff. Yeah, yeah what they, what, what they would have they like little girl camps, little boy camps, and then they would let the camps mix and fuck each other because they needed more people. Oh no! Like girls, your kids would go away on like woman Nazi camp and come spring all, all of them come spring <laughs> would come back pregnant. What? And oh, like, man. well, that's all, what the yeah. birthright shit is in Israel. What? what? You go, you go on your free birthright trip. You get there, and it's like these hot sluts are pretty into American guys. Oh really? Stick around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Israel's oh, really? cool. That's what yeah. you said. My friend went there. No, they're, don't dude, backtrack they're now to impress Kanye, dude. Yeah, yeah my, my friend went there. Said it was lit. He, my friend Free went Palestine? there for like soccer or something. He was like, Free Palestine, rule. dude. Well, they live in abundance. <laughs> let's not talk about Israel. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's this, talk is, about this Israel? whole thing's a mistake. Oh, it's giving, it's not kind of like it. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> I'm, dude, I don't want to throw a, a guy. He Guys, reached out to me. I don't want to throw him under the bus. You're not throwing a man under the bus, bro. It was yeah. just surreal. Pretty sure he reached out from under the bus already. I think he was already under the bus. You're trying Since to say you love his catalog, and he turned him out. You're like, actually, I love his new stuff. His new thoughts are really what I'm all about. <laughs> no, 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 no. His no, new no, album. No, no. <laughs> yeah. What's his new album? What do you think his follow up to Christ is King will be? Wasn't didn't we talk about it on here? He tried to name a couple albums Hitler. Yeah, back yeah. What someone said? I think it's true. Although, he did. Yeah. Called. That's what the news says. Well, then he went on the news. Dude. and <laughs> That's what the just media says. Imagine but. him standing next to Mike Myers and just saying, like, there's no way it was six million. And Mike Myers is like, oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Swing. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'll make you powder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. Garth falls backwards in his chair. <laughs> That's a funny sketch. Yeah, yeah, it's a funny sketch. If Ye is looking for funny sketches, Mike Myers and Dana yeah. Carvey. Yeah. And fucking do Wayne's World basement interview and then hit him with those thoughts. Supreme race. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, we're I'll, being liberated. Uh, Get the net. <laughs> net Yahoo, dude. <laughs> That's a good bit, dude. That was a good bit. That was, dude. Fuck, that was a good Yo, bit. Dude. <laughs> pull over the limo. I need to grab a Yoohoo real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Yoo-hoo. We, I was talking to someone that was like Yoohoo's fucking head of PR, just like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, that was the anti-Semitic chocolate milk. Fuck. <laughs> was it really? Did he talk about you or did he yeah, say he was doing sick comedy, net. dude? And he was like, oh, Net these guys Yahoo. Were... Cause that was the I thought you were saying he was he's like doing really... carrot top on. Yeah, or he's he... doing sweet potato top. <laughs> yeah. Drunk in a Bill's hoodie with glasses and a hat. I'm like, <laughs> like leaning over the wall. For real, everybody there thought I was a retarded guy. And then <laughs> NFL films was like filming Gabe <laughs> signing it, giving it to me. I was like, yeah. There's like a crowd of children around. A crowd of Shane. kids and me just like yeah. <laughs> And I was standing there. I'm like, "How old are you, boys?" Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. talking to the boys. I don't know why I asked yeah, you that, were, dude. I felt so weird. You, were at a, you, were, you threw up in the third quarter. Yeah, I by threw the way, up in the middle of threw the up? game. Puke. Yeah, I was recently. I think yesterday, actually, I was in a bathroom where I thought someone threw up, and I was like, "Jesus Christ, what a fucking shameful act!" No, Throwing dude. up Just in a public bathroom. Regulate your stomach in public. And then I ate fish that night, and I was like worried I was going to throw up. And I was like, "That's what I fucking get." Fuck. Fuck. What, type of, what type of fish? Salmon. I just I had salmon last night. Did you really? Me too. Yes, I had a lot of it. Really? I had two full giant pieces of salmon. Yeah, it's one of those fish. Is one of those things. You're like eggs. You're like, I think I could eat like forty pounds. I can of just this. keep eating these. Yeah, it's healthy. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, sick. Damn, that's that. I dude, I went like, before you said about his friend, like he's doing this for you. I was thinking, like he probably truly was charged up. Oh, he was. He went for to sure. the show. He one hundred percent was. He went, no, no, he went was. to the show and he was like, "I'm about to fucking." I'm going to honor him. He definitely was running faster than usual. I bet. He was fast as hell. 
I, dude, I'm telling you. And it's so funny to be like, the announcers be like, man, he's really putting it on. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the crowd. Yeah. Good. You might be his muse, dude. I could be Gabe Davis's muse. You might be the Gabe Davis's muse. <laughs> Gabe Davis's muse. <laughs> so, gives me the jersey. We hang out. Then we we go, dude. Look, this is where the this is where this whole thing gets incredibly funny. Is just Lemare, Lemare around NFL players. He was treating him like he was like a child. Yeah, he's he, dude. He's like thirty two. Yeah, with like he's ten years older than these players. <laughs> he's ten years older, and he's three feet shorter than all of them. And he's they got him a Bills hoodie. That they gave him a three X. It was down to his knees. <laughs> oh, dude, he had his hands in his sleeves the whole time. He's like. He's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. He, Lemaire is for real autistic. <laughs> yeah, dude. Without a doubt. For it sure. Was, uh, he was saying there's, some there's, outrageous they're, they're stuff. Right, fuck, dude, <laughs> outrageous. Their right guard that plays with Bills is a monster. Mm -hmm. He was the black dude in the chains. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, they yeah, have, yeah. In like a cool yeah. shirt. Lemaire stands in front. He's talking to one of the uh, one of us. Yeah, one, one of the of, family. One or, of, was this after the game? He's talking to maybe his family. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah Lemaire yeah. stands <laughs> next to them. He's mid-conversation. It just goes... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen, dude. I've never was seen his that. hand still in the hoodie. I've never was his seen his hand still in the hoodie. He took it out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've never seen someone hold a pound longer. An unanswered, an unanswered pound, dude. He just <laughs> finally, finally, this dude not looking at him goes <laughs> and keeps talking, and Lamar goes. <laughs> he is the best. It was incredible. We, God damn it. So then we're <laughs> hanging out after. Dude, he kept doing this. The rest of the night, he was just drilling people with autism. The Bills got an onslaught of autism from Sass and LaMera, dude. It was incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my God. Dude, so we get, we're, we're hanging out after. Gabe oh. takes us through the facilities. While we're walking through the facilities, Lemare's walking. Just Lemare and Gabe Davis are walking, and Lemare's like, "How does it feel to reach your dreams of being an NFL player?" And Gabe Davis is like, "What the fuck? Who is this guy?" <laughs> oh fuck! And then we're we're in the locker room, and me and Lemare get a picture back to back. Oh, God damn it, dude! When the whole Bills team yeah. watches. <laughs> oh, no, no, this is the beginning. Dude. No. This is nothing. No. This is nothing compared to what's about to happen. Oh my God! So we go. To we go to Josh Allen and or we go to the team's like dinner. Yeah. And just in a restaurant. It was great. It was wonderful. Yeah. Lemare is sitting. It's a long table. So Lemare and this one wide out, I forget who it was, sitting next, sitting a chair apart, but no one else is around them. We're across the table. I hear Lemare look over at him and go, other than us being black, what do you think you and I have in common? <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, and the dude was for real, like, yo, who is this? <laughs> like, he for was, real, whose man is this? Yeah, like, he wasn't having it at all. <laughs> and Lemare was like, what? It's a good question. <laughs> no shame. The guy's oh like sitting God. with his family. Oh my God. So we're laughing about that. We're laughing about it. Lemare, again, doesn't take the hint that maybe he should stop doing this to people. Oh my God. Five minutes later, out of no again, this guy's not talking to him. No, not he's at all. He's just asking quite like he's sitting, eating, and then being like, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what, what do you search on YouTube? He goes, what do you search he on YouTube? Asked that. This, this is an NFL wide receiver. And he's like, I don't know, man. Like what? He's like, I'd like <laughs> he's to know. just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, he hasn't confronted this level of nerd in like decades, dude. I so no one's no like, one's ever seen anything like true, this. true. But it's you so get funny. This, you get this at like a family party, <laughs> and like one of your cousins <laughs> is there that's like really fucked up. In Lemaire's defense, he did turn to me in the middle of the game, and he was like, "I think I'm gonna black out." And I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. was like hero. pumped, and I was. He's like, I've only ever blacked out twice. Lemare's Lemare's a hero. horse, dude. He dominates. Uh, drinking? Me and him were drinking. He was fine. He I, he doesn't he doesn't get like visibly drunk. No. Yeah, dude. He Lemare's is. Mare's a tank. I, dude, it's crazy. He's fast. He's nimble. <laughs> he, is he, nimble. Asked, he is nimble. He asked all the right questions. <laughs> he asked all the right questions. He dominated. He might be Rogan, dude. Yeah. I, I think he, he might is. be an exoskeleton <laughs> of Rogan. <laughs> he might be, dude. He <laughs> might be. Dude. 
That's so fu- it's so funny though because that dude, it, like just think of the wide receiver world of it's just like you wake up there's a bunch of chicks like yeah I, I want to blow you I'm assuming this there's like yeah. a bunch of chicks trying to fuck you you're just cool you're driving cool cars and all of a sudden you're at dinner with Lemare going like other than being black what do you think we have in common <laughs> what do you watch what do you on search YouTube? on YouTube <laughs> and the guy's like I don't know <laughs> he for real was he hasn't made like the befuddled. neural connections to answer those questions like ever and he's just like <laughs> yeah, yeah. confronted with a completely unique situation like what the fuck is what is this what am i dealing with right what now? is this an entity dude an entity <laughs> <laughs> so we leave there we go back to games we play poker me oh and lamar get God. fleeced <gasps> i gave lamar 200 bucks we played 200 dollar buy yeah yeah i bought in like three times i was getting killed <laughs> the dude next to me was beating me so bad he was showing me his fucking cards what yeah it was it was humiliating you're good at poker i was doing i thought i was i was getting shit hands what? but Lemaire's out right away. I give him two hundred dollars. He's literally out first, like <laughs> within two hands. He doesn't know how to play. He's all in. I He's all in. He had no idea. He's like, "Oh shit, I have nothing." Uh, so this is where the this is where it picks this up. This is where the things That's turn. Insane. So we go there. We leave there. We go to Dave and Buster's in Buffalo. One of the players had paid some money to buy it out. So it's empty. These guys have so much fucking fun. Yeah, yeah they have the it most was fun. sick. It was really cool. Fuck. We get in there. Before we leave, I take <laughs> a lot of mushrooms. I was like, I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to switch over to mushrooms. Who are the mushrooms? I don't know. Okay, Come yeah. On, bro. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Come on, bro. Sometimes they just get uh, Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. They were like those candy bars. <laughs> Holy shit. What the heck? Ooh, this is very spooky. Get off game, dude. No, no. Dude. Get off game, Davis. Is he okay? Game. Text him right now. No. Dude. Game. My candle's selling. Gabe better be okay. Oh, my God, dude. Kiss that, dude. I might start wearing this around. <laughs> with, no shirt, with no pants on. <laughs> so... <laughs> He's going to regret giving me. Yeah. He's going to be like, man, yeah. I think he regretted having us a little bit until the car ride home. The car ride home, he was having a blast. Uh, so we go in. We're at Dave and Buster's. Yeah. There's a lot of women. You're on mushrooms. Also, wait, have you I, mentioned? I didn't know. So I read the the back of the candy bar thing said, like, one, one you're microdosing, two, you're microdosing. Between, like, three and nine, mm. you're okay. Yeah. I took six, maybe seven. You're such a gobbler, dude. <laughs> You're such a gobbler on mushrooms every time. I gobbled the <laughs> fuck out of them. We get in there. I'm, I'm, they're starting to hit when we arrive. Uh-huh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in Dave and Buster's with the Bills and like 50 ladies from Buffalo. <laughs> that are Women of the night. A bunch night. of Cardi B's. <laughs> really? Cardi Buffaloes. Yes. Strange women. Strange women. Yes. Cardi Buffaloes. Cardi Buffaloes. <laughs> Cardi Buffalo Buzz. <laughs> yes. And they were fucking, they were, they were having fun. Uh, then the cool players show up, which was very funny to see. Yeah. yeah. The difference is that we were with like linemen and tight ends. Yeah. We were at the honkies. Yeah. Then the cool bros showed up. Really? They, dressed, they all looked like fucking Migos. Yeah. They yeah. Were turtle necks. They were dressing, they're in the shit. coolest shit you've ever seen, which normally I'd be like, that's cool. I was high as shit on mushrooms. I was like, what the fuck are these guys wearing? They look fucking dumb as hell. <laughs> and I, was, I was just crying. <laughs> so this is this. These boys, hog heaven. You get Lemare and Sass some video game, dude. Oh, my God. Lemare, Lemare at one point announced to me, he said, I'm the king of the games. <laughs> <laughs> started dominating was, NFL players in video was games. He's- Dude, and he has, he's like a little kid. He's walking. There's this D-tackle playing fucking Guitar Hero. Lemare's like, do you mind if I play with you? <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, sure, man, whatever. I have a photo of it. That'll be posted right here. <gasps> was Lemare here. on the mushrooms, too? Yeah. I think a little, but he, he was. was fine. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally, he crushes everything. I was freaking out, and he was yeah. giving me, like, pep talks. Like, dude, we're having fun. Relax. Like, oh Lamar was trying God. to snap me out of it. We were, Truly we were, rock, we were walking dude. Shan He's, around like a dog. Nate's a rock, too. We had to, we had to hold on to him and be like, all right, I Shan, was, this way. Oh, yeah. You think you were in good? Hold <laughs> yeah. on a second. Yeah. You were, I was being so <laughs> nice to you. Yeah, you were being nice. I was being like, I was come being on, nice Shan, to you. let's get over here. Come on. I was just watching you play games. Yeah. I would literally go game to game with him, <laughs> yeah. watch him play it for two seconds and walk in. <laughs> and like, you would walk sucks. into my face and be like, this game fucking sucks. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> go to another game. You'd be like, fuck this. My fucking card's not working. Yeah. We all had the David card. charge card? My yeah. charge card they broke. Gave That's us, no laughing they matter. They gave us all Dave and Buster's cards. Yeah. His card broke. And I'm sitting there talking to a cop. 
And I'm yeah, like, my car's, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. my car's not working. Officer, my charge card's <laughs> expired. Like, he's it like, was... I can't help you with that. He's like, I don't work here. <laughs> and I just kept on being like, someone gave me a card when I walked in. I need a new one. Oh, I my could have given you mine. That was I, know, I don't know why fix. we didn't do that. Was it unlimited charge card? Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was unlimited Dave and Buster's you, charge card, oh. babes, and the Buffalo Bills. Oh, my God. It was about as cool as it gets. No, if literally. I hadn't monched too hard, yeah. that would have been a great night. It's Yeah, true. But I did monge. You did. And I was like, I can't. You got <laughs> I, was one. Like, I was like laying down in a booth. <laughs> yeah. They're just yeah. ladies dancing. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, what are they sure. doing? Why are they doing this? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you didn't even make time for cruising USA. I gotta uh, get it together. And then I'm walking around. I see people like Gabe was playing like cruising USA. He was in like a car thing. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> oh, David Buster's just, on mushrooms. David Buster's on mushrooms, bro. With dudes that are six ten, <sighs> three hundred pounds all around, <sighs> and then Buffalo fucking Cardi B's. <laughs> it was the craziest thing I've oh ever seen. God, Loud dude. music. It was crazy. That's uh, intense, dude. It was so in- I, it was so intense that I didn't realize how high I was until I got home oh. and got into my hotel room and everything was moving. Yeah, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I was hallucinating the entire time. Yeah. I was hallucinating the entire time. <laughs> but and there's that like I mean, nonstop. I'm watching Lamar and Sass play games. At one point, at one point, all the cool black players were playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> just saying that's what they're doing they're playing the the you know the, the basketball game, competitive game. basketball game, right? but they were surrounded by like girls and the <laughs> the speaker was right there and rap was blasting and i look over and the the, the right tackle is spencer he's like six nine he's huge he's by himself playing like a dutch game <laughs> yeah. I, was, yeah. I was like holy shit <laughs> I can't look at this. What's the touch <laughs> game? I don't know. It was it's just like one a, of those like reflex games. Oh, yeah, it was really so big he covered the entire oh, thing. Oh my god! So he was like, <laughs> like nailing it. It was just funny to see the uh, the difference between a yeah white dude from Iowa yeah, and yeah. then Migos <laughs> shooting basketball. Dude, for some reason I went up after him and I was like, I'm gonna smoke. You, you were like, I'm gonna beat you. The reflex, not it, like not remembering not that he's score. in the NFL and also oh, an yeah. athlete. Yeah, he was pretty nasty. I got, I got like 200 points less than him. Yeah, it was, it was a bad. disaster. No, it was no, like it 300 was to 70. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was oh no. I think he set the record, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In your defense, it I've was never rough. seen anything like it. Dude. It was rough. Really? Yeah, the game. The game's huge, and he was bigger than the fucking game. Oh, <laughs> was, I have a video of him playing. Nice. I want to see that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it pans over to you, and you're just like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, stop. Please stop. <laughs> It was. Uh, oh my god! He was my guide, though. Yeah, he, he helped me out. He was cool. He was really. He was very like, here, come on, everything's good. like. Oh, he was like, this fun. is fun. That's so sick. Uh, yeah. And then I was laughing, imagining him as a Viking. Yeah. He was a Viking. Oh yeah. He even has like a Viking head. Yeah, he's a big. guy. He's a Viking. If he got into your house. You're it, done. The Fuck. whole thing's done. Fucked. Security there. They were white knuckling their guns. Oh, yeah. They're like, please, nothing happened. Because oh. <laughs> we're going to get ripped apart. Yeah. You'd abandon, uh, I'd abandon post on that, dude. I'm, I don't want to miss things because this was. I do have a part of me that the Hawkeye one, I couldn't stop laughing. Hawkeye. That's just, tough, though. That's like when you get designated, like when you're the Flash or Hawkeye or something like that. It's like when someone's dog dies and they tell you about it and they're like, Mr. Peanut Butter had cancer. <laughs> You're like, that's funny. He, he has a funny name. It's funny if they die. Like Superman fell off a horse and was paralyzed. It is funny. There's irony there. Yes. Yeah, excuse me for recognizing irony. Hawkeye getting hit by a snowplow. That's funny. <laughs> the idea of it. Obviously, that's sad. It is so Jeremy, sad. Jeremy Renner, the human getting mauled by a yep. snowplow. Not funny at all. Not funny at all. Him, the Hawkeye flag, being no, like... Exactly. <laughs> Coming down. <Yeah. laughs> who was the guy? Who was the actor that got like pinned against his garage uh, by a car? Chekhov from Star Trek. Was that who it was? Yeah, yeah. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. That, that sucked. Too. He got out of his car to check his mail. Yep. It rolled down the hill and got him. <laughs> so sad that's bullshit dude. <laughs> dude that's such a bullshit way to die dude <laughs> getting hit by your own that's like, like me and red dead getting hit by that deer dude that's, that's a saying. fucking out of nowhere freak accident dude unbelievable 
The stuff's not funny, guys. <laughs> stuff's it not actually funny. is not funny, dude. <laughs> Freak action. Matt, t- time out. Hold on. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to bring up that tweet. <laughs> Dude, can I finish my law? <laughs> that was my that bad. Almost looks fake. Although Shannon Sharp's voice is a little, you know, I'm trying to do the impression. I wasn't trying to be offensive. What do you mean? Oh, dude, he's let me finish my law, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> That's not offensive. I was just watching Club Shay Shay when he brings on a uh, <laughs> dude. It's a it's a good podcast. I was it's such a funny name, but he brought on um, Waka Flock of Flame, and Waka Flock of Flame That's was good interview. He was on there just being like, dude. Like I don't, I don't kill. I've never killed people. I'm not like a gangster rapper. He's like I, I used to rap about this stuff. But he's like, dude, I, I'm a nice guy. He's like, I would never sell drugs. He's like, I would make millions of dollars. Why would I sell drugs? They're talking about the whole yeah. young thug situation. I think there's a lot of rappers that are starting to get a little like, ooh, boy, they can, yeah, uh, they can, dude. Apparently, they're so if you if you rap about something, yeah, they can use it against you only if it pertains to a crime that they can prove actually happened. So like they can like he. So if you just say I killed, but they can't be like, well, you said he killed people. But if you like reference anything that can be tied to a crime, yeah. then they can absolutely use it against you. Like he had a lyric that said like she got robbed by Tick. That was his one of his aliases was Tick. Tick and Slug was his ali- were his alii. And he was like she got robbed by Tick. And they were using that against a, a lady saying he robbed her. And like, well, Tick and Slug. Tick and Slug are Tick sick and Slug could be us, dude. <laughs> 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 That's good names. <laughs> The YSL is Tick a Tick Slug Secret Podcast, dude. Dude, his nickname, his nickname need, game's on point. Oh, yeah, rebrand. Dude, that is actually really nice. <laughs> they, had, <laughs> they had, uh, yeah, they had group chats apparently where they'd be like, yo, did you shoot that guy? Like, yeah, you saw. <laughs> I shot him. Dude, literally, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy the level of, uh, just. They shoot. Some of the people shoot. Yeah, sometimes. Yo, guys we, are I, shooting. I don't want to talk about that. Come on, oh, man. time out. I meant <laughs> people in general, not just slug and ticks. Oh, for sure. For sure. Not just slugs and ticks. <laughs> I was watching, uh, I watched a good one last night. It was called This Place Rules. You, you ever see the kid do the all gas, no brakes? Mm. Curly haired kid, wears a brown suit, does interviews. I think so. He's got a good one. It's on HBO. Mm-hmm. It's about what led to the Capitol rise. It's pretty great. Really? He's just going to different Trump rallies, interviewing it's a, it's a comedy. The way he interviewed people was mm-hmm. comedy. He'd be like, how do you feel about this? And just let them go. Oh, that's kind of And he would interview the craziest people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it did take an HBO-esque turn. What happened? Where they were like, eh, it got a little biased. Did they really? In a couple, a couple instances. Yeah. Remember that? Nah, never mind. Probably not my best takes here. <laughs> 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 now I'm starting to think about it. Probably you not my. Gen- you're like, it might not be the best thing for me to Jan Six sympathize. You're saying probably or? not my best opinions coming up, <laughs> especially on the eve of our glorious revolution. <laughs> oh yeah, that's coming up. I forgot. Coming up. That's on Friday. I mean, this episode will come out tomorrow. So yeah, we're on the eve. This is January sixth. Eve. The eve. The eve of one of the greatest coups of all time. Are they going to? Are they actually going to? Is he going to be in trouble? They keep saying he's going to be in trouble for this. They're doing a lock him up, big time lock. I don't. I don't think so. But that's uh, a <laughs> proof. <laughs> prove it. There's literally there's a lot of footage. <laughs> there's a lot of footage. Yeah. Yeah. I think he. Uh, I don't know. They're they're going to get him for his taxes. I believe eventually. Oh, the Russia, Russia yeah. Gate? The walls are closing in Dude, on Donald Trump. They are. You can tell now the walls are closing Did in. Did you see Stephen King Stephen King had a tweet so they're like the Republican like research tank or whatever was like Joe Biden spent forty percent of his presidency on vacation and Joe Biden or uh Stephen King like retweeted it with a quote and said, Yeah, he spent the other sixty percent kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, maybe he's fucking with people. I, that's what I started wondering. That's I'm a like, it's, very funny tweet. It's very funny. That's so fucking delusional. It's funny. He's either fucking with people or, yeah, it's, it's a, like a genuine mental disorder. I mean, like, of just not even like whatever the perception of it is, where you think he's a good press, but being like, yeah, he kicks ass. Meh. It's like, dude, you're a grown, like, end of your life development man. Yeah. And your best you can do is be like, the president kicks ass. Yeah, and you're a great, Sorry, haters. an incredible writer. One of the greatest writers. I don't think I can read his books and anymore. And you're going to come out with kick ass. I can't read his books anymore. I really don't. Just knowing what the dude's up to, it, might, it honestly, I can't It'll separate the off. art from the artist. Yeah. I can't do it. Which is funny because I can do it when they're 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right wing. I mean, like, it makes me like it more. I'm like, dude, Mel Gibson movies are incredible. <laughs> this guy's nuts. Because at least right wing, at least right wing, those guys are nuts. Yeah. Left wing are like gay as fuck. Dude. Well, they're not. Yeah, and they're not being like ostracized by anyone really. No one's ostracized. Only people attacking him are just dudes like I'm a blue collar worker. I, he's kicking my ass. If I'm sure of that. He's kicked my yeah. ass. But it's like, yeah, it's pretty weird. Cause, yeah, because at least when you see Mel, you know, he was out there saying wild stuff. Yeah, he got in trouble. Yep. No one likes him anymore. Yeah. But you can't stop watching his movies. If he puts out a movie, everyone's like. Fuck, it was actually pretty good. Well, there's a redemption tale, too. It's like, is this going to be the movie that sways? Although a lot of the movies have stunk. We're talking about... What there's was, some what movies. Did, he's do been with... doing a lot of movies in there that were like... Really? Give me back my son. Like, over and over again. He went like Liam Neeson for a minute. Yeah, that'll happen. That's then a, he did Dragged Across. That's a box Conk. office. That's like a no. guaranteed box office. Like, dude, having your kid taken, making a movie about that, easy. That's all. That's, that's at least going to make some money. Like, dude, what would you do, bro? What would you do? What the fuck would you a do? A bunch of fucking Romanians stole your son. Ask, ask uh, Andrew Tate's dad. He's living that right now. Oh, true. Andrew Tate's Andrew dad. Andrew Tate's dad needs to taken. He got taken, dude. Fuck, I have a Andrew specific Tate skill taken. set. Tate, dude, I was watching videos on Tate. He actually might get busted for trafficking. Really? Yeah. I think they're hitting him with the walls are closing in on yeah, I think well, I think the left wants him gone. They do. I would imagine they do as well. But dude, he has like early seminars he did online about how to. Everyone's getting crushed for like their content right now. He did a seminar on how to be a successful webcam entrepreneur, and like I think for sex trafficking, there's like if you use physical force, obviously that's sex. if I if I were to like be like Shane, you fucking get suck this guy's dick or I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> if I did that to you, I'm a sex trafficker. Man. No. If I fraud, <laughs> dude, let me get this monologue out first. Uh, 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 Matt, time out. <laughs> time out. I do not want to. Do <laughs> uh. <laughs> so the second thing is fraud. If I trick you into doing oh, it, kind of, never mind. if I fraud you, that's technically sex trafficking, which is kind of you know it's hazy. And then there was like coercion, where if I threat, viol- you know, th- blah, blah, blah. so fraud you is what happened to that one porn thing. Which one? Uh, talking Nexium? No, there was a porn one. Girls do porn. Girls do porn. What was that? It was fucking nice. <laughs> it was sick as fuck. It was so good. And then I found out they were fucking trafficking the girls. I was beaten off to. I had what no the idea. hell? I had no idea. What was girls? It seemed do- like a legit one. Usually, like they like. Because they're all ugly, kind of. Who? Girls do porn were fucking so hot. Are you He's a youngster, target? dude. He doesn't have any idea. Are you out of your mind? For some respect. You're yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> those those trafficked women were. You said those guys weren't tricking the best women and yeah. stealing. They them? literally were. They trafficked like beauty queens. What? Sometimes. No, I mean actually, the one was a Miss fucking one, a state. And you're saying they're more like runners up. You're no? out of your fucking mind. Like not dude. some of them, of course. There's some diamonds in the rough. <laughs> I mean, guys, what, what are we talking about? Take, no, this is one of the worst takes <laughs> no, ever. These women got sex, sex trafficking. You're going to call them ugly? <laughs> call them beat. So You're going to victim blame? They're the easiest victims. Who? Oh. The ugly ones. Jeez, Noah. Noah. Mic away. Noah. Give the mic out. Get the timeout. <laughs> timeout. <laughs> we're sure we weren't going to talk about this. <laughs> They're all beautiful. No, we're trying to do a monologue. Anyway, dude. they got sex trafficking. They Because I think they frauded the girls. Yeah, that's a. I think they said they were going to pay you a certain amount, or they were like, "We're actually not going to put this out to," and they they tossed it so out. So that's trafficking. So and then the guy got in trouble for that. Dude, they have videos of Tate in his own words, and I'm watching. Obviously, I'm watching. Uh, Which is bullshit. They should. I should get a. I should get some type of. You know. I should get paid. For sure, there should be commercials like, Camp Lejeune commercials like, "Did you whack <laughs> off to fucking girls do porn?" <laughs> Are you, are you now a sex criminal? You did not know you were being a sex criminal. You owe compensation. That's such bullshit, dude. I love that shit. You basically have mesothemioma, dude. Yeah, dude, I got theliomies. Well, I, I would say there's probably a decent amount of, like, women in porn who are trafficked anyway. Like, those oh. those Russian ones. You, they're still on. Careful. You're out of your mind that these girls are homely, dude. Can you cover their naked bodies and show me just their faces? 
<laughs> They're so hot. I mean, dude, he doesn't know he's a youngster. It's, Come on. it's this. Stuff. Come on, dude. Over and over again. Age check. Can I get Look. an age check on her? Yeah, I mean, he's crazy. By the way, they were not naked bodies. I was looking at not naked fully bodies. Clothed. This They're is literally clothed. just the beautiful girls. <sighs> what a heinous fucking! Wait, who was the guy, and how was he pulling this off? What were his means know. of coercion I, or manipulation? I honestly, I have not done a lot of research. It happened a while ago. It happened like a year and a half or two years ago. Billy and Spud were the ones who broke it down. Girls do like, porn. Girls do porn. That guy was a sex trafficker, and I was like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dude. gonna get hit with the Rico. You might have to go to. They might dick. find out. Be like, who <laughs> searches this the most? <laughs> this might be your bars. They get you. <laughs> <laughs> they check your webcam. Oh, I'm so afraid of that. Damn, you're gonna, put, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to fucking take the plea deal, like uh, like I'll snitch. young thug. I'll snitch right away. I'm gonna be gonna. I'm like, yeah, I know. Be, like, slug that. showed me this. <laughs> <laughs> dick and slug, <laughs> billion spot, dick and slug, <laughs> dick and slugs. They but, showed me this. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're slouching in court. Yes. yes. With Dude. a mask. You gotta wear a fucking Dude, COVID mask. All of YSL has their uh nose out of the mask. I mean, kind of sick on some level. True. They're all fucking we got rocking the same Patriot Beak in court. So funny <laughs> where the beak. Dude, you're going to jail for life. You're risking jail for life. Like, I better not get it cold. <laughs> I better not get it cold. <laughs> well, the I last thing to, I want is to be under the weather I when I arrive. I think they have to wear them in court because the judges yeah, yeah, wear yeah. them too. But it's so funny that all of them fucking sag their mask. It's like the best move ever. Yeah. Be like serious Rico charges facing 20 years. And you're just like, like dude, I'm going to bring my nose out of this I'm fucking cave. I'm going to breathe in this. <laughs> like, it's uncomfortable. But yeah, dude, the uh, he's on camera. And this was, I was watching, I've been watching a lot of criminal defense lawyers, like, break stuff down. And he, this one guy, I think his name's Bruce Rivers, he came under fire because people were like, fuck you, dude, you, you hate Tate, you're dude, a did hater. did Guard Dog just leave to take a shit? I think so. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? He's shitting on air? <laughs> Guard Dog had to shit. <laughs> oh my God. He definitely woke up late. He smoked so many about fucking cigarettes, car. dude. He was lying about his car. Oh, That's dude. his morning shit right now. I think so. <laughs> He smokes way too much. We have we have to talk about his cigarette intake, dude. Oh my god, he's terrible. a fucking cigarette smoker's ass. He probably puff like five cigarettes on the way here and jarred one loose. <laughs> He'll get his when he sits back down, dude. The, <laughs> the um oh yeah, so they were he he did like a seminar basically on how to start a webcam business, and it was he's on there being like, you have to control these women's minds. You can't tell them the truth. Like blah blah. blah. His story was that he. Um, he had five girlfriends at the time and he decided he was like, he's like, well, fuck, I don't, he's like reading a book about how to make money. He goes, I need assets. And he's like, well, if I have five girlfriends, I can have, turn them into assets for me. So he, he according to him, pimping. his own words, the what? It's pimping. Pimping. He even did say on the thing, like you could apply what I'm about to tell you to street pimping if you wanted to. Yeah. But he's like, it's all about, but whatever. So then, you know, and again, he's obviously trying to be like sensational and stuff, but his story was that according to himself. He called all five of his girlfriends and said, I'm flying you all in here, sat them down in front of him and said, I'm on some G shit right now. You guys are going to start making me some money with this webcam shit. And they all they all found out that they were like he was they were part of like a six piece relationship. Three of them left. Two stayed. Nice. That, not bad, actually. Yeah, then, <laughs> it's crazy. But there's like it there's like so that alone is they were brought there on false pretenses. So but it's real hazy. So this mm. guy's just breaking it down like they're all the parts where deception could possibly come into play. And especially when like when you're using your own words, like it doesn't look good for you. You can't trick women. You should. Yeah, you can't. Well, you can. You shouldn't. That's the thing. You, 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 you can. You should not. It's very mean to do. Guard dog. How was it? 